I'm Hunter. I'm Rebecca. I'm Caitlin. I'm Nessa. This is The Family Show! Welcome to Live Family Showdown Shenanigans, Weekly Shenanigans. What else is going on? Anything? Nothing? I don't know. Randomness. Actually, no, it's not true. We're not doing just random stuff tonight. We have a top 10. What is going on? In the docket for you. I don't know. There's, I, all there's like there. all sorts of stuff going there's on There's all the sorts screens. of technical difficulties happening right now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Exciting. Goodness. Hello, everyone. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> My IT guy is a little crazy. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready. I think we're finally situated. Good times. I, good I times. Hope, maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Are okay. you out there? Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see lots of people hopping into the chat. All right, Yo, folks. Shenanigans. <laughs> All right, folks. Looks like we're on. Let's hope. Uh, Hope everything goes well tonight. <laughs> we've had we've had all sorts of uh, oh internet grim, gremlins going on the last few shows. So we have it's crazy. What just happened? I don't know. Don't mind me. All right, Let's tonight, tonight. Hey, welcome. I'm Hunter. This is Rebecca. Tonight we are presenting. We are our top ten games. Uh huh. We have not played recently. This was suggested. Just seeing if he's on. No, I don't see him on. Oh. Decided by the famous, nay, I say infamous. Uh oh. Or maybe even notorious new troll. Oh, I was going to say it's either new troll or jobby then. <laughs> Top 10 games we have not play, played recently. So if you know, we did a resolution last year to play all our games in our collection. We didn't succeed. Woohoo. We mostly succeeded. But this Oops. was an easy top 10 list to, to, to do because we just go back to. We just look at all the games we didn't play during our resolution. Partly. Part, plus a few games that we don't own. Yep. So this is a pretty easy list to put together for us. <laughs> I quickly came up with 13 games and narrowed it down to 10. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what? I have like 20 <laughs> plus. 13 games. And I narrowed games. it down to writing like 20 on here. And then I narrowed it down. Jo Jobby's the old troll. It's kind of, that might be, that may be, may be accurate. All right. <laughs> so how did you... It's not a good reaction to a partial question. How did you order your list? Well, I made this list of 20 things, and then I got a 20-sided die. No, okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> I honestly didn't do that, but I was like, mm, I'm going to go buy what I really want to play right now out of this list. Because I, I, I did, like you said, compile a list of stuff we hadn't played in a long time. And then I was like, ooh, which of these do I really want to play for one reason or another? And I noticed that I have quite an interesting variety. I think you'll... Enjoy this. Okay. So So I did something similar. Okay. Similar. 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 I did not order them like from my favorite to least favorite. I really? did it the one I most want to play to the one that I don't want to play as much. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I said. I did something did the same thing. Yeah. I mean you could have very well just made this list and said, Okay, my favorite game on that list is this. Oh yeah, no, I didn't do that. It's the stuff I really wanted to play right now. Because I ha I'm sure if I looked at this as favorites, I'm sure this is all out of whack. And then plus there's some that are pretty high up on my list that I did not put in here and stuff. Yeah. Because I just, I'm in the mood to play a bunch of random things. And while I was making my list, I had a Rebecca moment. What does that mean? I had a Rebecca moment while, what does that I, while mean? I was making my list. What does that mean? I, I hmm. started speaking in Latin. That's not what you did. <laughs> I've Some of the games Latin. on my list, I could have Big swore Latin. we've played recently. But we haven't. Ah, okay. Because Rebecca has her moments where we go, we played this like last month and it was like five years ago. It's not that drastic. 
<laughs> that is nonsense. Okay. Oh, hmm. man. You're fired. All right. Okay. All right. No, not last 10 minutes or last month. At least a few months. These have not been played in the last 18 months. Oh, for you? I have some that are a little more recent, but I really, really, really want to play them again. No, that's not the rule I said straight forward. I said since the resolution started. Oh, since it started? Yes. Well, I have two that are kind of cheats then. This is re- they have not played recently. How, recent- how, how recently did we play them? It's been a three months. No, that's not the point of this list. Vetoed. Fine, I'll fix it real quick. It had to be you at least suck. a year. At least a year. Oh, you all suck then. At least a year. Not just y'all. By that I mean it's royal <laughs> y'all, as in him. At least a year. Oh, okay. Fine. Three months. There's like a thousand games on our shelf that we haven't played the last three months. We do not have a thousand games. It's pretty close. No, we do not you have round a thousand. round to the nearest thousand. This sounds like new math. <laughs> I, I detect. This is the longest. I detect this new is the math. longest intro ever. No, I just think it's like hateful intro. Well, while you, while this you is re- like, why you repair your faulty list? I'll start with my number. Well, I'm going to tear up your faulty list. All right, my number ten. My number ten. Number oh, this 10. is easy to fix. My number ten Actually. is a game Rebecca hates the art of. Oh, I know what the answer to this is then. <laughs> but kind of likes the game. And that is Yokohama. 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 Mm-hmm. I haven't played Yokohama in a long time. I don't even remember the last time we played it. Well, it seems like yesterday. <laughs> I think I want to... Hey, someone! I need somebody new to play games with. So <laughs> how'd that go last week? You said something about. I got resumes in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> how they know my address? I don't know. But I got resumes. Stalkers. <laughs> Yokohama. We're in a weird mood tonight. Yokohama is a Euro game where is you it? are moving about a board. You're going to different areas. You are doing actions in those areas. You make the actions of that area more powerful by how much junk you have in that spot. So if you have little trading posts and people and assistants and stuff, it makes it more powerful action. You're collecting resources. You're doing some uh, set collection on contracts. Uh, all sorts of craziness. But what's what the, the, the trick? Like... All euros have a gimmick, and this is the gimmick. The gimmick is it moves when you move around similar to Istanbul. You have yeah. little assistants, and you have to follow little paths yeah. of assistance around the board to, to get to where you're going. There you go. Yokohama. Very cool. Rebecca hates the art. I hate the art. It's a great game. It's Amazing great game. art. It's an excellent game. That was my number 10. Well, good for you. Wow. So brutal. <laughs> Yeah, just payback, you know. For what? I don't know. I've said nothing. You've but said not- nothing. You're so I, innocent. I've said nothing but White nice snow. things to you tonight. All right, my number 10 is a deck builder, and it's Shocking. Space, and I love it, and I don't know how we've gone this long without playing it, and that's Core Worlds. So, Core Worlds. Oh, I just realized two of my numbers are going to be. Anyway. Oh, yeah, um, you're, you're, so, I'll fix it. Um, Core Worlds is, I'll like use. I said, it's a deck builder, and you're aim is kind of keeping the end goal in mind because there are these core worlds that have massive amounts of victory points attached to them. In the meantime, you're building up your deck and your army of either land or space soldiers, and you are going to be taking over planets, increasingly bigger planets with better, you know, victory points and whatnot, and then you go up and you try to have, hopefully by the time you've gotten to the final round, you've got a nice military base built up to get whatever planet you have of your choice because they have different combinations of the land and space uh, army that are required to take them over. I love it. It's a smooth play. Cool art. It's space. It's deck building. It's pretty glorious. So let's get this straight. You said cool art? So it's generic 80s sci-fi art? Yeah. Beats very beautiful, Boring. beautiful Japanese cultural art yes and that was not japanese cultural i don't, art. Know, what, I don't know what i'm saying you're just making nonsense <laughs> up you, yeah cool worlds I, that, <sighs> that actually made my that's one of my 13 the infamous 13 games was, infamous they eh? but it's not was it one of my 10 no no it was not hmm, interesting Spoilers. all right my number nine hey can i do my nine no <laughs> Jeez, you're in a weird mood tonight 
<laughs> My number nine is <laughs> the Battle of Five Ooh. Army. We have not played that in a long time. So I've played War of the Ring a billion a, times, a few times recently, fairly recently. But Battle of Five Armies hasn't been played in at least a couple of years, at least. That seems weird, but it's true. Because we're like, do you want to play this? So Battle of Five play? Armies, are you familiar with War of the Ring or not? I'll, I'll explain if you're familiar or if you're not familiar. Battle of Five Armies is uh, a simulation of the end of the Hobbit book by Tolkien. And uh, so War of the Rings is a more kind of advanced, more, uh, I don't want to say complicated, but more robust game. War, Battle of Five Armies is kind of a um, streamlined. I don't want to say streamlined. That's probably not the best. It sounds like it's, it's better than War of the Rings. Yeah, a, a, a more to the point version of War of the Ring. In War of the Ring, you have to do all this political maneuvering. You have to motivate people to fight, and you got all these things, and there's politics and all sorts of things going on, which is really cool. But Battle of Five Armies is more combat oriented. It's more fighting and tactical and less strategic than War of the Ring. Because War of the Ring, you got a long term plan. I want, I want to go, you know, get the ring to the Mount Doom, or I got to take over these strongholds. Five Warriors is just a slugfest of, of fighting. <laughs> slugfest. Slugfest. Fight, 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 So, fight. Uh, the reason this probably doesn't hit the table, and Rebecca actually and I talked about this actually fairly recently, is if we're going to go to all the trouble to set up the game, organize it, get everything, all everything set up, ready to go, we may as well like spend a little more effort and, and play War of the Ring because it's, it. a, it's a better game. Preach it. But... I think, still think Battle of Five Armies has its place. Oh, no, it's good. Just its place is a distant second behind War of the Ring. Very distant. <laughs> there you are. My number nine, Battle of Five Armies. <laughs> yeah, James, you're on. Sounds like a coal game. Battle of Five Armies. Coal it. Taking up space. It could. <gasps> you heard it here first. Should we put that on? Anyway. Ooh. ooh. All right, what's your number nine that you're so anxious to talk about? <laughs> My number nine, we haven't played it in a while, and I... This no, is a game. this has that, been no, a lot. Sh- shush. This has been Fix a lot. Fix it. Oh, okay. That's the one. Shush. Golly, man. All right, what'd you change it to? Ugh. All what'd right. You, we show haven't me. Played. Point to it. Can I talk? I swear. I'm it's changing gonna, it. I need to change the time. picture. It's about, you time. Dork. it's about time for a technical difficulties. How can I change the picture if I don't know what the what you're about to say? You just look it up after I say it. Oh man! Oh my gosh. I'm a, I'm a troublemaker. Man, there is angst tonight. <laughs> my game is Roman themed, and it's competitive, and it's actually pretty hilarious. It's um, it's Colosseum. And you're racing around. You have little senator dudes running around this track. Um, And you're building your own little coliseum. And you have a spot in there where they can run through it. And if they happen to stop and land in your coliseum, you get a whole bunch of extra victory points. Because they came and watched your show. And you're trying to produce increasingly more elaborate shows. and But you have to trade for different resources and stuff to get um, your show to produce it. And so there's kind of like a recipe for each show. And there's some crazy bidding and trading going on to get these resources. And let me tell you, sometimes the resources are really hard to come by just because they're also randomly placed out there. And then there's also the unfortunate times when someone, like, picks the same performance to go after and only one person can do each performance. So then it becomes a real race to get through that and get those victory points before them. The unusual thing about this game that I really like too is the scoring is really not what you're used to. Usually you just keep adding a score for each performance. That's how most games would score it. This game only scores your highest performance. So if you happen to have a really good third round and somehow you just whiff it that fourth round. I think there's only three rounds. Whichever <laughs> number of rounds, there's four. I just is I'm, there four? I believe it. Is there four? I'm pretty I sure. I think there's there are. three. I think you're making it up. I don't know. But it doesn't matter if you're on the next to the last round. Penultimate. Yes. Look at you and your fifty cent words. Okay. So <laughs> if you're on that round and you do better than your last round, you're going to keep the score from your second to last round. That may be a good thing. That may be a bad thing because probably a bad you're... thing. Yeah, typically <laughs> it's a bad thing if that happens. It is super fun. I love it. It's a lot of fun. 
Yes. And we have not, somehow we have not played this in a really long time. I think I've played it more recently than you. I think. Yes, you did, and I don't know why or how that happened. It must yeah. have been like a con where we had children and I had to go do something. So, All right, my number eight. <laughs> whip it good. Yeah, you're right, Johnny. My number eight <laughs> is a game I'm play, not playing because I don't want to ever be beat in it because I said I would never get beat in it. Well, we all know what game that is. That's Stockpile. Stockpile. I haven't played Stockpile oh, in ages, man. but... But... Man! I got the this thing. So we have a reason to play. <laughs> uh, that the expansion. So, st- Stockpile is a very <laughs> light, well, not very light, compared to m- other stock market games, a very light stock market game um, that's um, really straightforward. It's all about just uh, drafting stocks, buying low, selling high, manipulating stock prices, knowing when to sell, knowing when to keep. Um, hidden information. It's got a lot of cool things going on. Um, just at the end, whoever has the most money wins. What are you smiling about? Other oh, chat. The chat's pretty Yeah, yeah pretty we probably should tonight. pause at this point and explain to you. If you're watching this for the first time. <laughs> if you're still watching it. <laughs> if you're st- and you're still watching. We love each other very much. <laughs> no, no. They were just referencing that... Um, they, that tonight is Fog of Love meets Ugg Tech. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is. Anyway, st- uh, if you're looking for a, a kind of intro, and, I don't, and by the intro I don't mean light game, but no. an introduction to the stock market games, yes. this is an excellent, excellent uh, game to try out. And don't worry, when I do defeat him, I will put it all over the internet. <laughs> if I never let you never play again, I'll never be defeated, right? I don't, you know what? You're going to be 80 years old. And you won't even know what's going on. And I'll be like, here, move your piece here. <laughs> what are we and doing, then, sweetie? I won! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> All right. You're no fun. I know. What's I'm your lots number of eight? Fun. I'm lots of fun. You know what's funny? My, my number eights are actually uh, already been mentioned. Oh, wow. Even, yeah. Even with the horrible art. That's right. With that stinktastic art. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. It's just boring. So I'll get out. And it's Yokohama. Like he said, for all the reasons. But fortunately, the game is so cool that it overshines its hideous art. There you go. That's all you got to say? Well, you already said pretty much all of it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. The mechanisms in the game may be gorgeous. The art is not. No, what I really like about it, though, is that you can... The replayability is high for this because, kind of like a stumble, you're going to set up the game a little bit differently so there's different things that are close to each other. And you have to kind of plan out your moves. I don't know how much you kind of went into detail about that. But it's interesting that you have to plan ahead. You have to, like, put little people down to pave your way, so to speak, for your your big dude to go. And then you can only do Mr. the actions. Fonsipons. Yes, we like to call him Mr. Fonsy Pons. Because <laughs> the, the, the deluxe version had a little dude with a little bow tie. He looked very formal. So he was Mr. <laughs> Fonsy Pons. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, so I just, I really like that mechanism where you have to plan your move. And it's kind of sneaky too because you don't, it's not always obvious because you might be putting people down in several places to kind of build up a long-term path but you could also plan that too because if he's going to cross my path i you know you land on the same space you have to pay like a tax to the other players so you're like nope don't want to do that and uh two player you can usually avoid that multiplayer not so much so that makes a little interesting twist to the game and money is already tight so i don't know i, I find it very interesting and i like that and it, of course each of those little buildings that you're going to have different things that you have to do and accomplish in them. So, good times. Good times. Alright. Moving on to my <laughs> number eight. This is the one I thought I played recently, but apparently I haven't played it oh, recently. Oh, is this the one that tricked this you? This is the one that tricked me. What was it that tricked you? I swore, I could have swore that... Oh, that's not it. I could have swore that Tommy and I played this recently, but it was a while back. Really? And that is... Not stuck on What the heck? Am I got my numbers wrong? That's what I'm wondering. I do have my numbers wrong. <laughs> Preview for a later one. My number seven is not what I started to talk about. It's a feast for Odin. So, so you were ranting about some other game? Yes, uh, we'll get to that later. A feast <laughs> for Odin. So this game we played it like three or four times, like right in a row. We did because we played it and we're like, 
okay, I think we know what's going on. So we played the game. Yeah, like, I want to get better. Like, hmm, kind of know what's going on. And we played <laughs> the game. I was like, I know what's going on. Rebecca was like, how are you making 17 ports? <laughs> I know. And I the fourth still... time, we did, both did really well. So Yeah, it's just, I don't know why. Like, I get the game. I just didn't get how to be very good at filling it. I did some great so, matches and stuff. If you stuff don't know Feast for Odin, it's a crazy game. It's a heavy Euro worker placement game with polyominoes. That's my new word. I know it's been around forever, but that's my new word. Polyominoes, Tetris pieces eyeball? that you're putting on a board, but there's all kinds of rules about this can't be next to this, and this can only go here, and these can do this. And you're filling out a board, and when you complete a board, or you think you're about to complete a board, you can draft like new boards, and you can build out more and more and more boards and get more and more and more points. Um, but the first time we played, it was like, that first board is like, how do you even fill this thing up? <laughs> we were like, what are we doing wrong? It is a, it is, there is a big learning curve. There's like 63, 63 different worker placement spots on the board. Yeah, it's insane. So there's a it's, massive learning curve to this game. Um, it's, it's, it's not like super hard to learn but it's like to get good at it it just seems like it takes a while and i bet if we played it again since we haven't played it in forever we'll be right back at square no, one no, I, don't, I, I disagree with that because we've also gotten much better at playing games that's since true. we played it that, last like we've true. been playing some heavy stuff that's so now we're like, i'm curious to see how we do if we play that one again challenge accepted it was on our, needs to it, sleep? it was it was in our queue for uh uve games we just never got around to it we got through like Four or five of them, but we didn't get, we didn't get uh, Feast for Odin played. I know. So there it is, my number seven. A feast. For a Odin. feast. A feast. A feast. For Odin. Not just any old meal. A feast for Odin. All right. My next one I just like to say because it sounds cool. Um, but it's also a heavy game, like he said. Uh, the board game cover looks like some kind of tapestry. It's not the game of tapestry because we've played that recently. This game is Lorenzo il Magnifico. So, you like heavy euros? This is a good one for you. You are Lorenzo. Okay, you're not really, but you kind of are. But you're actually dice, because you're placing dice. It's a weird... <laughs> the theme's a little weird to me. I'm not going to lie. Theme. But you're rolling dice, but we have the same dice, and you're using those to move around on these different boards. Um, so it's dice placement, more like dice... Payment, I guess you'd say, because there's different tiles and stuff that you can get. I mean, cards. It shows the value. It basically tells you the value, value. of your actions. Yeah, and there, as you do different things, and you can manipulate the dice somewhat to buy more expensive things. You can get little dudes to help you like buy more expensive things than what you could afford with just the dice alone. But there's all these funky rules that this is what makes it heavy too. Is like you can only go to one column that one time you can't duplicate that and you have to pay a bunch of extra if you're in somebody else's column like there's all these different things you have to do then you're building your own little um you have your own personal play area where you are building up some engine to produce a bunch of different things and it's got several little mini engines on there that you're building which is based off of the cards that you're getting from certain regions. So there's like a battle for these regions to get those and hopefully the dice roll the way you want them so that you can get there. It's pretty complicated, but it's in a good puzzly sort of way. I really like this game. It is a bit of a brain melter if you haven't played a heavy game like that, though. It's, it's fairly heavy Euro. Yep, I so, would agree with that. But it is fun. If you like heavy Euros, tis a good one. Yeah, mid to heavy... Mid to heavy, 90-minute mm. minute, 90 minute sweet spot. Yeah, this is a 90-minute sweet spot, as they say. But I think it's on the heavy end. It's all right, maybe. My number six. <laughs> what is my number six? Hector my says, number six. <laughs> let, me, let, me take a, let me take a little quick look at my That's list. Good. It does. It looks like curtains, doesn't it, Dan? This, this is the game on my list that it, we've played. I have not. What am I looking for? Is the, is the furthest back since we've played it. Ooh, okay, okay. Of all the ones on ten that years, <laughs> pretty close. Really? No. Pretty close to ten years. Do we have a game like that? That is Power Grid. Oh, now you're just making me sad. Has Power it really Grid. been that it's long? It's been at least five years. How is at, that possible? At least five years. But it doesn't feel like that. We love this it's game. Gotta, it's had it had to have been at least five years. Oh, that makes me so sad. 
This is such a good game. Power Grid. Only oh. but a goodie. And I don't know why this we don't this hasn't been pulled off the shelf to be played. Maybe it maybe it's inconspicuous. It's kinda kinda just hidden up there. It mixes. But in. I looked right at it and I found it. <laughs> I don't know why we haven't played. We haven't played this in ages. I have good memories. And I wanna play game. I wanna play like a, a fairly decent player count game of this because we played like we played a, we played all a, but one or two games have been two player. Yeah, but we played it multiplayer. But, I want, but I'm saying I want to play it with a lot of people. I want to play like it now. Like 17 people. <laughs> okay, you wait in line for four hours <laughs> to play Power Grid. Power Grid. Oh, I, this game's so much fun. I, I, it's it's got a lot of things I like in games. It's got uh, auctions. It's got resource management. It's got like mean resource management because like the price basically you have all these different resources you're buying and you're purchasing and as you purchase more and more of them they become more scarce so they become more expensive and you can like hate draft resources per hate, hate purchase resources for other people to drive up the prices um it's got different kinds of power grids you're basically building out a map you can block did players. you say power grids but the game is called power grid who'd have thought i'm moving on <laughs> What was that? That's my joke. Don't do not do me. Don't do my shtick. What's your number six? It's not as cool as Power Grid. Well, hmm. my yeah, number definitely six. Definitely not as good as oh, Power Grid. Oh, oh, oh. Shots fired. Shots fired. Okay. My number six is equally as awesome because it's Pursuit of Happiness. Look at that box. That's just a box full of happiness. I love this game. This is the game of life for adults. It is so much fun because you're going through and you're you're living your life. You're living your best life. You're going through and you get an education and you go and find a job, hopefully a career, and you fall in love and maybe you fall out of love, maybe you fall in love, maybe you stay single your whole life. It's your choice. It's your call. You get to pick. And then you go and you have all sorts of weird wonky hobbies and, and things you do in your free time and collect random things and... There's, it's just, we have fun because as we're playing, we create this ridiculous drama out of it. And what? Now you're Your Jobby said roll credits when you said power grid, your power grid dad joke. All right, continue with your... Yeah, so... And it has a little spinner that you spin when you move. That's life. <laughs> that's, that's, that's life. Oh. Hmm. Anywho, <laughs> I like to play this game. It's a lot of fun. The expansion added some more shenanigans to it, so you have more crazy things. The three like... expansions we have? Oh, yeah, there's like three What's another one coming? What? There's more? But wait, there's more. Yeah, this <laughs> game, I don't know why. It just cracks me up so much. It's kind of like watered down. It's not really fog of love, because that's like a zoomed in, but this is like a macro view of the... The, the life you're leading. It's pretty entertaining. Anyway, Pursuit of Happiness. Much lighter than Power Grid. Yes. My Much number five. My number, number five is going to be higher up on someone else's list, I'm guessing. Spoilers. I don't know what you're talking about. Spoilers. You're crazy. You're crazy. I want to play Istanbul. No, it's Constantinople. Istanbul. No, it's Constantinople. Istanbul. Because we played the, uh, the last time we played it, which was a while back, we played the Grand Bazaar version. That was cool, with by the way. Everything, Including everything, the everything, everything, and uh, it was amazing. And we haven't played it since. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll talk about it more later because this is that's probably. Oh my goodness! You make so many assumptions. Can't believe you. Istanbul, great game. <laughs> The Constantinople. <laughs> All right, what's number five? My number five is, takes us to another part of the world. What's with you and these humongous pictures? <laughs> Next time I'm going to make them tiny. My number five is Nusfjord. So now we go from Istanbul where we're trading exotic spices to getting some cold fish and feeding a bunch of hardy fishermen dudes that know the water so that they'll come help us fish for more fish. I don't know why I like this game. This is a lighter Rosenberg. Um, I just like the themes different, and I, I love the mechanisms in this. And you have like little long table with a whole bunch of dinner plates and stuff on it, 
and you like feed these old codgers that are like, I know these waters like the back of my hand. And then you hire those guys and they go out and help you find more fish. And it is just, I don't know. I have fun. And if, if Hunter invests in my company too, like when I get my fish, I have to give him some fish too. I like doling out all these fish. It was great times. Great times. Great times were had by all. Lots of fishing. It's cold. It's Nusfjord. I find it, two things I find interesting about this game. <laughs> Not necessarily the game, but about your reaction to this game. What? One, you role play this game somehow. <laughs> he turns a like very generic Euro game into some kind of role playing game. My elder needs some food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is a normal game. And there's no two because number one's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I gotta feed my elder some fish. <laughs> That's right. That's like, right. What is going on? This is. I don't know. Now you want to play to get it, don't you? Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, what's my number four? I don't even know. Oh, my number four was already mentioned. It was. It yes. is Lorenzo, Lorenzo Il Magnifico. Magnifico. So I won't, I won't talk much more about it, but this is it's good times. Probably way up my list. Mm -hmm. I, I won't say maybe my favorite, but it's high up of my favorite of the ninety-minute Euro games. Yeah, so, um, I'm true. sure there's probably some that I'm forgetting about that are higher than that. But yeah, it's it's just a really solid Euro game. I like the dice. I like the manipulating the dice. I like the direct card drafting i like the engine building um i like how tight the two-player game plays like super tight most a lot, a lot of two-player euro games are super wide open you can go wherever you want and do whatever you want this one's like crazy tight because there's like like if you want to run your engine for um for your resources there's only one spot to go <laughs> yeah it's true. There's not two spots. There's one spot. Fight, fight, fight. So uh, it's just it's just a really solid game. Uh, yeah. I like the leaders that I have. You can play with those or not, but I enjoy them. Yeah, that's true. It's just a really like I said. It's for a two. It's really works really really well two player. It's right? an awesome two player game. Have we even played this more than two player? Yeah, we played it with Brent. 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 Oh, we did. Brent. Golly, Brent. Brent. This was a while then. I say Brett because I just played a game with Brett. Brent. Oh, there you go. Goodness, really? Gosh, was it that long? Wow. Okay, time flies. See? See, she just did it. I, did you see seriously, that? Seriously, I swear we... No, that was like, like two years ago. Nuh-uh. Ask Brent. Brent, you online. <laughs> What's your number four? That's crazy. All right, my number four has been mentioned before. That's hilarious that you picked this. I would never have thought you picked yeah, this. Yeah, y'all making fun of me in the chat for it, too. I saw you. What's that? Power Grid. Well, they they were like, oh, she's not mentioning it because she doesn't like that game. Blah, blah, blah. She I'm loves like, Power Grid. Oh, I love Power Grid. I like it more than him, apparently. Yeah, she does How like it more you? than me. Actually, no, on your, your top 100, I think it's I think this is probably my number me. one surprise game because I'm still in awe of the fact that I like this game because, honestly, I shouldn't like this game. It is like economics the game, and I'm like, yay, math, spreadsheets, the game, because you're like, okay, I get this pile of money. Throughout the turn, I have to use, like, th there's three different instances where I need to use this money. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get these guys money, I gotta get these money. Oh, she, does make, got, she does make little piles. It's I do, I have to. He's hilarious. Yeah, I'm glad you approve. <laughs> Some people aren't as good at math, okay? <laughs> so, like... I was like, how much is she spending on resources Yeah, again? yeah, you know. Oh, okay, she's buying four coal book. this time. I'm open, yeah, which means he snipes my coal. And then I'm like, okay, now... How do I backpedal all of this and make this still work? And I still do. I do fine. I know you do. Yeah, fine. we're pretty evenly matched yeah, in this game. Yeah, pretty, so. pretty even. But it's a lot of fun. That and is I actually shocking really that you like picked it. Power Grid. I, I would have never weird. thought you would pick Power I Grid. I am stunned. Beyond, I'm like almost speechless. Not enough. Haha, <laughs> nice try. But stunned close to speechlessness that it's been that long since we played it. This portion of our show brought to you by Speechless from Arcade Wonders. We are so... I'm going to pull out a UgTech club one of these days and just, like, <laughs> go all Muppets on him. It's going to be great. I'm shocked I would never have picked this <laughs> on your list. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Shocking you. Shocking all right, we're the to the chat. one I started talking about where I mentioned Tommy. I oh, thought we geez. played this, like, yesterday, but apparently it was a while back when we played oh, Oracle of Delphi. So Oracle of Delphi. Oh, that was I on my short had, list. I actually had to go, like, dig and research. I'm like, we played this, like, Three months ago, right? 
No. More like three years, sucker. Four months ago? No. It was like it was like the spring it was like way back. So I don't know when it was, but it was forever ago. So uh, I I could have swore we played these recently, but we haven't. But anyway. Oh no. Or- He's either turning into me or going senile. Oracle Maybe Delphi, the best Stefan Feld, Stefan Feld game. Let's we'll just move on from there. As some of my students say, we're about to throw some hands. Okay. Throw some hands. Yes. Oh man. Like jazz hands. No, not like jazz hands. Jazz hands. Oh man. We're gonna throw some hands. I was. That's what I always think of when I hear that too. I'm gonna throw hands, and I'm like, Are you serious? What does that even mean? Oh my gosh. That is not the best Feld, but that's a fight for another day. In my humble opinion. You're not humble. <laughs> In my not so humble opinion, <laughs> is the best Feld. Yeah, I, I could have swore. I, really, I, I in my head we played this like six months ago. Welcome to my world. And it was like eighteen months ago. That's weird. Well, you know what? You I play, think I finally found. Best Feld I think I finally often. found a picture of us playing it. It was like not last summer, but the summer before. <laughs> you had to like stalk the game. Yes, I out. no, I stalked uh, mine and Tommy's Twitter account, <laughs> <laughs> trying to find pictures of the game. That doesn't creep you out. <laughs> Nothing will, folks. <laughs> Oracle Delphi, great game. <laughs> All right, what's your number three? All right, my number three has been mentioned before as well. Oh, wait, 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 Yes, Istanbul. I love this game. And like he said, we played with the, what'd you call it? The, the Grand Bazaar. Grand Bazaar. I was going to say something horrific like Grand Mall, and I was like, that's not. It's Grand Bazaar. My brain. Okay. This game, though. It's a shopping bazaar. Not you are bazaar. So many things I can say right <laughs> now. But yeah, spelled slightly differently. But the replayability for this is so ridiculous and it's so fun because I remember the, f- the first or second time we played this, you ended up at the little casino was right next to, oh, I can't remember which the gym, building was. The gym person. Yeah. Where you buy and gems. So he's like, I'm going to go gamble. And he's like, then I'm going to hop over here and do this. And I'm, I'm like, oh, surely I can beat him by doing other stuff. So I'm bouncing around the board and he sat on these two spaces and like killed it. It was hilarious. And then the next time, they were on opposite ends of the spectrum here, all, all the way across the board, and, and you I'm, were so sad. I had such a he's sad like, face. He's like, now I have to do actual strategy. <laughs> it was so That was funny. a strategy. It was a Zaya merchant like, strategy. I get to gamble. This is hilarious. No, no, that was... You did not strategize in that game at all. You were just being crazy. This game also has the... What is it? The notorious cousin or something like that? That like yeah, or brother family, family member. Yeah, it's got like we always make jokes about it because he's like in jail, but you can bail him out of jail and have him run errands for you. What kind of weird does mafia? Move, does it let you move to the other side of the board and do stuff while you're over here? It's so random. But though. if you but the other person goes to the spot where he is, they send him back home, but they put him in jail or something. I don't I'm know. just like that is so out of left field. It's bizarre. It's like you have bizarre. this notor. You have this notorious. <laughs> relative that you're hiring and just but the great the grand bazaar does defeat the uh the the, the proximity issue it tells you specific oh yeah it does things. all sorts of cool stuff like this th- this one has to be in this quadrant and this other one has to be in this other quadrant they have rules on yeah on how you set up so you don't have that issue <laughs> now but, we're all talking about the fact that you stalked tommy and they're i stalked myself i stalked your twitter too i was trying to find pictures of us playing it he stalks me. That's weird. Istanbul. My number two. We're already at number two, man. We're flying. I don't know if that's the right word. We are just flying no, through this not. list. We're not Luckily, flying. we have other things to do. No, we don't. That I didn't mention. Oh, geez. Bonus. Bonus coverage. <laughs> All right, this one. This one, I've actually reached up to the shelf and pulled it off to play many times. And for whatever reason, it's never happened. If I was going to say, if it's Modern Kaibo, I'm going to slap you. But no. It is a clans of Caledonia. Why have you pulled it off the shelf and it hasn't played? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> you just said you just said you pulled I've, it off I've the shelf. I pulled it. I've looked at it. I'm like, I don't want to relearn this game. Let's put it back on the shelf. It's during game days. That, like people were picking oh, things to play, okay, and I'm like, because I, like, what are I you have to sit talking? down and read the rules. It's been so. It's been so long since we played it. I'd have to completely relearn the game. Wow. That's sad. Yeah, I want to play this game so badly. And I actually signed up for a game of this at 
Board Game Geek Con, and uh, it didn't it didn't happen. Oh, it got canceled. That's the one that got canceled, wasn't it? Oh. I was I was I, so I really really want to play this again. And what I guess we're gonna have to, I have to just like read the rules before game day and make people play it with me. <laughs> it's just, Aww. Sorrow Song says, I'll teach you, Hunter. <laughs> there you go. Someone teach me how. I, I know the I know the basics of how it works, but I, not, en- all the not enough to, to teach new players how yeah. to play, right? Yep. I could sit down and, and play the game, but I couldn't teach the game. So I'm in that nebulous zone between know enough to play, but not enough to teach. It's kind of like my knowledge of how to like take care of cars. I know enough to break things and fix random little things, but not enough to actually work on a car. <laughs> oh, random. I want random. random. That is completely Lines related. Lines of Caledonia. So I didn't even tell you what it's about. So it's a Euro game. Whiskey, right? You're making whiskey. No, it's one, it's one of those Euro games that has a, a feature I really like in Euro games is that everyone is has a very different superpower. We're all playing the same game. We're kind of doing the same thing, but we all have this crazy powerful superpower where you go, I'm going to win the game. Yeah. And then you look at them and they're like, I'm going to lose the game. Yeah, like everybody has this. I love games like that. We all have like these really so cool Marco abilities. So Marco Polo and this game. What else has crazy asymmetrical stuff going on? I'm trying to think. My brain, Sometimes I feel that way about Twilight Imperium. Sometimes their Kinda abilities is, feel yeah. that way. Um, yeah, there's several. There's several. Oh, uh, a, um, yeah, that game. You know. Cube pushing... In space, Sidereal Confluence. Oh, Sidereal Confluence yeah. definitely. Has the people that. play different, play a different game, different. Yep. So that doesn't really match. Whiskey, cheese, bread, and sheep. That's there you right, go. guys. There you go. There, it summed up but the what, game but, right there. But what, what, what? Another feature I like in this game. It has an economy. That's true. Resource the economy. I love the resource economy. If you played Ratoon Tycoon and some other games, it's the Ratatouille. The, the prices go up and down as you buy and sell things, and the, 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 the basically buy low, sell high kind of situation. It's got contracts. It's got uh, resource, tons of resource management. It's got goods that you can upgrade. It's got things that you take off the board that makes your actions more powerful. Lots of, lots of stuff going on that I like. You know, I really don't understand why economics classes are so dang boring because I keep thinking about all these games that have good supply and supply demand. demand features in them now. I'm like, why aren't they using they these? They should be playing Arkwright in oh. high school. Ooh, no, that's that's the that's the end of the semester oh, test. That's like is arc right. No, that's like you start with stuff like clans. That's like and some the, other that's games. like junior year economics in, there in you college. Go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Don't don't start with arc right. Everybody will quit. No one will know the economy. The economy will crash. No, that that'll be that's that, that class is. You know how they have in college. A lot of times they have that really stupidly hard class for your major that's unreasonably hard for no reason. <laughs> Just to get people who aren't dedicated. It's Nicole. It's not to, not ded- dedicated. That's, That's what right. it is. So, so economics, like 301. Is arc is right. Arc right. Yes. You, you have, must you, win you, you, a game of arc You right. must learn the game. You must teach the game. And you must win the game. Against the professor. Against the professor. <laughs> I now am going to start my own university of economics. <laughs> All right. What's your number two? All right. My number two, you need to adjust. Um, yeah, because you just played this like... <laughs> Anyway, I didn't hear anything he said. This isn't the game you most Ooh, want to play. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, the other game that I really, 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 really want to play that Hunter like doesn't really, really, really want to play I'll at all. Play, I'll play it. He tolerates it for me. Let me tell you how fun that is. So, you know, gaming wife or somebody, come over and play with me. Um, <laughs> and that is Mystic Veil. Vale. I like card building. I love the card crafting feature of this. Yeah, the game gets a little samey because they just made 20,000 expansions of more of the same. So that was kind of disappointing. But I really like... This has a weird, weird what picture. Oh, that is funny. Just stick it in the middle like that. Or, or like that. Oh, geez. Here we go. So anyway, but I really enjoy going through and your deck building and you know I love deck building that's one of my favorite things to do and this one on top of the deck building you're also building your cards so you have these um transparent cards that a third of them have some text and abilities and different things of money um spoilage if you know what the game is that's like bad stuff you can only have a certain amount of that before your deck kind of crashes for the turn and i 
I just love building cards and playing with that. I, I, I wish there was a little more meat to this, and I'm hoping that eventually... They keep saying it's part of some bigger game. I think it's all lies until I see otherwise now, because it's been years. But, as it is, I don't think you need an expansion or anything. I just think it's fun to play. And I love, love, love card crafting. Why aren't more games doing it? Ah! Someone build another cool... Is it expensive? I can see that, but... It's cool. It is cool. People would buy it. Since I you since it. you love this game so much and it's your number two, I'm going to reserve my judgment and move on. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't tell it's very volumes. It's after a while. I said that myself. Oh, did you? Yes. So. <sighs> the right. bigger game is out. What, Dean? What, what, what? It is a bigger game, but it's not the one they promised. Oh. But... There's kind of an. Who made this game? AEG. Mm, we're gonna have. We're gonna throw hands. All right, as everyone's so fond of saying now. I want to play it. Bigger game. So the bigger game that's out does not include Mystic Vale stuff now, or no? Mystic Vale was never intended to be part of another game. I thought you said that they were going. No, to... they're using the card crafting system to design a okay. bigger, more robust game. Did they? They did something. It wasn't. What they kind of initially promised, from what I understand. So AEG. All right. Mm. So we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause. Why? But this is. But. Oh, I know. I know. Well, throw hands. <laughs> I like how now it's like a musical throw hand. We're like <laughs> jazz hands. All right. So I don't. Well, I, we we don't normally talk about game plays during our top tens. We talk about those during our variety show. But it's story time. Oh, dear. Story time. <laughs> so I was invited by one Paul... Oh, gosh, I don't know how to Cox. You sure it's Cox? I think so. C-O-C... C-O-X-E. Yeah, that, that. Dude. I was invited by Paul to go play Dune oh, at our friendly local game store. woo woo But I'm not going to talk about the gameplay, because that's next time. You have to wait for that. It was, it was, it was the Tale of Two Cities. So... But, at the end of said game, Paul pulled me aside and said, unbeknownst to me, I know him, he knows me, he kind of knows me indirectly through a friend, but... Stalker. He's like a I'm big fan of the channel, and he was actually in the chat at some point. I don't know if he went away, but he was in the chat at some point. I would have, man. He pulled me aside and said <laughs> all these amazing things about the channel, which Aww. made me all kind of weepy, and, and he's like... I have a token of my our appreciation, him and his wife, I guess. Appreciation. And uh, he said he wasn't going to kidnap me and throw him in, throw me in his trunk. So Well, that's good. Glad to hear you're So still he took here. me <laughs> aside and he... Stalker! And he gave me a game I already own. What? So why... There he is. <laughs> He's in the chat. So he gave me a game I already you know. When he opened the trunk, I'm like, Fleet Captains. He has to know I have Fleet Captains. <laughs> talk about it all the time uh-huh. uh-huh the reason i bring this up and we're going to talk about what's in front of us in a moment because i have not seen rebecca's number one yeah but you know what it is but looking at the list i gave her to choose from i knew immediately what her number one was and i already knew what my number one was obviously because i picked mm-hmm. it i made my list before this happened I think she made hers after. I don't know if it influenced her list. No, I had already... So we already made that. our list uh-huh. before this happened. I already made my list. So he, so he opens the trunk and there's fleet captains. I'm like, I already have this. And then he opened one of the boxes up. Oh, man. And I'll let Rebecca take it from here. Oh, but I'm already, like, <laughs> speechless. This is... Oh, you guys can't even see this yet. This is insane. These are all painted in their beautiful, glorious glory. I mean, like, crazy painted. Like, all the little lights are painted. Like, there's little yellow lights. I can't even... Oh, my gosh. This is insane. So, can you see? Look at this beautiful thing! Okay. Now, I spent, like, 20 minutes with my... Picking up my jaw off the floor. Showing off. Looking at all the pieces. Yeah, these are ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. And, I mean, they're kind of cool looking plain, but this is insane look at this these are gorgeous 
I like the. Uh, oh, is he? This guy's What's the one that had the under the under wings? Oh, that's painted. the Romulans. Zoop. Birdo prey. Cling. Check that out. How about the Klingons? Or Klingons. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Look at those beauties. So okay. yeah, so I was completely floored. I was like, uh, I was like. Hunter couldn't even hardly talk. Yeah, I was like, I just kept These saying, uh, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. That's all that really could <laughs> These come are out of like, my mouth. This is so gorgeous. This is, a, this is I, amazing. Holy cow. This is insanely cool. I mean, where's the Enterprise here? We're going to find some of the... Yeah. There's my boy. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. Look at that. That is too cool. Yeah, so... So, yeah. I thanked him a thousand times. I wanted to hug him, but I figured that'd be awkward. <laughs> I'll hug him next time. Uh, yeah, oh so gosh. so thanks to Paul. Yeah. We, we had to we had to show this off. And with, this is gorgeous. And if you haven't, and, and I gorgeous. said it already, but let's make it official by putting up that our number one game. Did you paint the NCC on this? Is Fleet Captains? Coincidentally, completely coincidentally. No. -uh. What was Were these painted on too? I don't know. Now I gotta look at our other ones and look. <laughs> this is insane, dude. But yes, both of our number ones are. You are correct, Fleet Captains. Because I, I didn't Not realize it had been that long since we played it. It didn't feel like it had been that long. It really hadn't. We played it two summers ago. That does not seem possible. And when we did that, I think we played a really long game of it too. Yeah, we, we played. We, we intentionally made a massive board so that, and we went to and like played. more points. You can pick how many points you go to. There's a standard amount. I think we did. Based on the number of, of tiles you put on the board, mm -hmm. as how many, as how many you points to. you go to. And it's really fun because you can do that with the game. If you can't play a super long game, you can shorten it, make a smaller galaxy, and you know you do get out faster and whatnot. But we made a super big game, and, and now, oh man, I'm just like, what? I, I'm gonna, Hunter's going to be like, it's your turn, and I'll be like, oh, okay. I'll be staring at these. This is ridiculous. You did. You painted these on, I swear. He's got little tiny black ink, and he painted, like, the USS Jaeger and its NCC number on here. I swear that's painted on here. That's insane. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there you go. There is our gorgeous. top ten games that we want to play that we haven't played <laughs> recently. <laughs> this is crazy awesome. But yeah, we, we do. We want to play all the games, but this one most. In fact, um, I don't know why we need to sleep. Because we need to play this game. Just saying. <laughs> so that's it. Mm -hmm. So, now that we're done with uh, record keeping and uh, emotional moments. <laughs> um, I need to sleep. Rebecca's Top 100 it didn't come out today, but it, was, it should be back in action on Thursday. Um, again, if you want to know the schedule of upcoming videos, I keep, I, I update it as soon as we make a decision on when we're doing a video or not doing a video on Board Game Geek Guild. The link's down in the, the, the description. Yeah, he's So go it. over there and join that. And if you're expecting a video and it didn't show up, you can go over to the schedule. I, I've updated it and tell you when it's going to happen. That's right. Next week is going to be our variety show, and we'll talk about that Dune session, whoop, whoop. among other things, new purchases and games we played. Yep. Um... Anything else you want to add? I don't think so. Um, we're getting we're in the top half of my top 100, so now we won't have any more delays. It's not going to be everything should start chilling out a little bit. Hopefully after this weekend. So. Yeah, we we've had crazy schedules the last <laughs> few weeks. So um, Paul saved the marriage. <laughs> oh, we're not allowed to play this until we play Leaving Earth first. Now, yeah, I like how you guys have mapped out. I next someone's gonna hijack our uh, BGG calendar and it's gonna be I'm like going to edit our Kabuki's days. gonna have put in Leaving Earth Marathon. <laughs> I wonder Leaving who put Earth that in there. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, we actually we actually went under an hour tonight. We got seven minutes left. What? I guess we can do an unboxing. <laughs> we have a random box. I hate I hate to end on an unboxing, but. We owe you seven more minutes. We're, uh, supposedly, we owe you seven. I think they're probably like... We're, we're an hour show, supposedly. Supposedly? Supposedly we're an hour show. All right. You really have to put the ships away. They're so pretty. I just didn't want to be knocked down with the boxes. Oh, okay. Because, you know. When does painting with Nessa start? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I, I, if, if she wasn't super shy, she would probably love doing that. But she's she, she's like occasionally shy about doing things on camera and then although she swears now she wants to try it again and she's not as shy as she used to be that's what i that's what she told me 
So I mean, I, I, I may, yeah, it may be something. Well, we'll, we'll talk to her about it. It actually be pretty, pretty cool to see her. Um, I'm curious what her thought processes are when she goes. So these games aren't games. super impressive, but we just happened to get a box in today, t- yesterday, yesterday. Is this a free shipping sort of box? This is kind of a free shipping box. No, it's not a free shipping box. I'm so I'm slowly clearing out my uh, cool stuff wish list because <laughs> our shelf of shame isn't big enough. Good. What is wrong with it's you? Only one, two, three, four, five calyx squares worth of uh, of games. Let's add two more to it. There's only two in here? Two games. Thanks again, Paul. Paul, you're amazing. You gotta yeah. teach, Paul owes me a, he's going to teach me a war game. I've never played a war game before. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you said you were going to get this. Oh, my goodness. So this is the game you played with Tom, wasn't it? No, no. I played it uh, with the Rio Grande guys. That, oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, um... I demoed it. And, oh, that's right. You said you, like, loved it and that I you're pretty sure the, the kids, game, but kids would like it. It's pretty cool. So, yes. This is supposed... Hunter played this, thought it was really cute, thought that Ness uh Katie probably like it a lot, and it, the art looks silly. I like it. You said it was quite a neat little game, though. Yeah, it's a cute little uh, family weight. That boy, that ki- it's, a, it's a family game that kids could play, so it's not like a kiddie game. And it teaches you some um, cool, uh, I can't remember the mechanism, but it's like real, like modern board game mechanisms, but it's designed in a kid game. It's got it, set, set collection, it's got... It almost looks uh, like it fires off like Deus or um I don't Imperial know, I, I tried it out, I played a couple rounds of it, like this is really cool. And I think Nessa will really, really like it. Yeah. So, cool. Basically, you're, you have a baby monster and you're trying to have him grow up or something? I can't remember, but... I know I really liked it, and I was trying to buy it, and it wasn't available yet. It was yeah. like they were demoing it; it wasn't even out yet. Now it's out, so no, oh, cool. So we'll let you it's know cute. how we'll get Nessa to play this sometime in the near future, and we'll let you know how it goes. Cool. There was a question in the chat: um, What war game are you going to play? Do you guys know? Paul yet? left. It's like Paul. Uh, Paul's still in the chat. Paul, what game did he say? He was, it's slingshot, sling whip shot. Whip shot, sling, sling whip, whip swing, sling. <laughs> Paul, help me out here, buddy. <laughs> what was that game you were gonna teach me? Now he's like, uh, never mind, I'm busy. And <laughs> the heavy Euroness that is barrage. Okay, it's lighter. Okay, it looked like it was gonna be a forty pound bo- barrage. What the heck is barrage? I've never even heard. Barrage of it. is a uh, like heavy Euro game where Tesla you are coil thingies. I want to say your power companies. And, but it's interesting, you build these dams to collect power. It is Tesla! Yeah! Okay. You build dams that collect power, and like rain comes down and it kind of flows through the, the different dams. So you can build a dam and block someone, and you can, oh, you can, no. uh, you can upgrade your... Uh, you can buy special equipment and things to help you get, get fuel... Uh... Sling blade. <laughs> No, oh, not... bolt action. Bolt action, that's what it's <laughs> no, called. No, that was James saying sling blade, oh. not... <laughs> bolt action. Yeah, that's the one he said he'd teach me. Anyway, uh, so the barrage, is, it's like all, all the hotness, uh, heavy hmm. Euro-ness. So, I, I, so it's a heavy Euro, huh? Yes, it's heavy Euro. Oh, 120 minutes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I got Fleet Captain's play first, barrage. So I, 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 I need some, like, attacky heavy Euro games in my life, so... Barrage. Attacky heavy euros? That's not a thing. Apparently is, because you can have a nice little, you know, power plant dam built, and I go, I build right in front of you. <laughs> I will flip this table. I know, that's why I got the game. Oh my gosh. Someone come play this game with him because I might Throw some hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm tired. We, 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 we're two minutes from an hour. Oh, man. What, what can we do? You can do anything in two minutes. What, you is, can't. what is he saying? No, actually, that's the P90X guy. Do anything, for 30, do anything for 30 seconds as <laughs> you're like dying. You're like, yeah, <laughs> sure, I can. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, what can I? 30 seconds. Um, we should be impressed. We like didn't have any technical difficulties. 
Yeah, we did not drop. We came really close. We did not drop a single frame. I was meaning it metaphorically, night. but yeah, that was great too. Yeah, zero percent drop frames. That's like hasn't happened in our last ten videos. Now you jinxed it. Way to go. Hundred <laughs> percent drop frames. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm 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 looking forward. I, I I was talking to Paul. We chatted for gosh, I don't know, half an hour after the the game about stuff because uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was like overwhelmed with the with the gift. But uh, he mentioned uh, he's like I told him I was like he mentioned he what kind of games he's like he said he does war uh, war games. I'm like I've never played a war game. Like I told him the closest thing I've done to a war game is uh, besides Risk, which that doesn't count. But in modern games, I played Small World and War of the Ring. That's not a war game. You move armies. And I want I want little tiny microscopic little chits that you have to use tweezers to pick up and move around. Why? Because that's what, that's what all the cool kids do. Ask Kabuki, and I bet she says that the cool kids use twi- chit chit chit. I gotta say this carefully. Chit tweezers. tweezers? <laughs> Thing. Now I gotta look at. This I bet you can boot it. I bet she owns a, a uh, chit tweezer. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we gotta wait a half hour for the. We got to. I get the leg cranked way up so that <laughs> help with the drop frames. Hey, hey, let's just do. Okay, this is it, Dean. You just need to organize a game day in Hawaii and invite all of us. And, and pay, so we'll and just pay for the airfare, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we just need to have a game day in Hawaii. I'm thinking that's a good plan. Who's on board? <laughs> Throw your hands. <laughs> that's going to be my new thing, throwing hands. Oh, I like it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't own those tweezers, but a counter clipper? <laughs> a counter clipper? What's that? I don't know. What's a counter clipper, Kabuki? <laughs> Some people, the, the, even the cooler kids, have the new fancy like little suction cuppy thing. A little baby plunger. That's a little, yeah. It's a little the, the suction cup. A Barbie plunger. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm I, tired. Okay, right, so we made we, it. We made it sixty minutes. For, for better or worse, <laughs> we made it sixty minutes. Yay! Dean's on board. All right, we need to plan. We need to plan this game day. <laughs> Did she squeeze your chips? <laughs> All right, Van Hector. <laughs> Sorry for the weird mood uh, we're in tonight. We're probably just a little. I'm loose. sorry that we had like high viewage tonight for some <laughs> crazy reason. You people are so insane. Next, next week we'll have a variety show. We'll talk about oh, games okay. we purchased and games we played since we last talked about games we purchased and played. Assuming there's no technical difficulties of the metaphorical <laughs> kind. This weekend's our game day. My goal is to clear his game day. Is, yeah, she's gone, so it's gonna be a great game day. I plan to clear out my entire shelf of shame. So we're going to have to have ten games going simultaneously. <laughs> Gee, I'm so sorry I'm missing this game day. You, you, you two have to play root this game. My, root for my students. They're competing. They're competing. They could qualify for state this weekend. Oh, it's the actual this real is, deal, this huh? This is the real deal. Ooh. Yep. I'm very well, Good stoked. luck, Broncos. Wow. That sounded so sarcastic. <laughs> They're going to throw hands. <laughs> throw some hands. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> nice. Hopefully. Sorry, we were too silly. Well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That'll teach you to watch it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye.